Devin and I are going to be doing the random number generator fishing challenge. Wait, so I get to spin that? Yeah, that's that's your budget. Two, one, here you go. <laughs> <laughs> I did it. Got him. Got him. There he is. I got one. Yep. Got him. Big, 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 big. big. Ooh, ooh. Folks, what's going on? Welcome back to the Fishing with Norman YouTube channel, guys. Comment is popping up down below. Let's go ahead and subscribe under the bell. Leave a comment down below this video for your chance to be next to this comment of the day, guys. We're on our way to 500,000 subscribers, and if you're enjoying these December videos that we've been cranking out, a little bit of a vlog, miss Fishing with Norm style, uh, leave a like. Today we're here with my boy Dangling with Dev. Ah. Oh. <laughs> that would be sad, but it's uh, it's not my car, it's Dave's car. So guys, in today's video, Devin and I are going to be doing the random number generator fishing challenge. Huge shout out to my boy, First Day Fishing. I kind of stole this idea from him. I thought it was super cool. We wanted to do it here on our channel as well. If you guys don't know what a random number generator is, it's, it kind of says it in the name. It randomly generates a number. So we're going to set a minimum of $1 and a maximum of $1,000. Devin and I are both going to randomly generate a number on this app in our phone. And whatever budget we get, we have to spend to catch fish today and whoever catches the biggest fish wins so guys before we get started i just want to say thank you so much for the support on the merch it was so successful that we have people now fake making our merch on websites there's like 10 websites with my merch up on it if it's not normclothing.com it's not my site so i don't want you guys to order my merch thinking it's mine off a different website and you never get it because there's a lot of scams going on so if you got merch double check make sure it was from my website normclothing.com and not a different website and if you're gonna get it it'll be linked down below normclothing.com you gotta type it in like up top it's not like ranking and search rankings random number generator let's do this thing so i have one typed in at the top a thousand typed in at the bottom and there's this generate button i've never used this app before is it going to give us a high number first or a low number first i don't know if i want to go first Ooh, or second i'll go first i'm gonna call it 554 390 dollars oh boy wait so i get to spin that yeah that's that's your budget and then now i gotta roll mine bro if i get five i'm swinging <laughs> actually i'm i'm cool with five that gets me back of lures and i don't have to spend any more money we're just gonna go ahead and generate this right now a three a two a one boom <laughs> 761 dollars <laughs> i don't know if i'm happy about this or sad about this you know what let's throw a sponsor in this video real quick hold up today's video is sponsored by mystery tackle box we found the mystery tackle box tree here inside of dick's sporting goods which means it's the perfect gift for any fisherman this holiday season guys if you want to save some money on your mystery tackle box code save 15 is going to get you 15 percent off site-wide online you can use my link in the description down below and i mean you can get the mother load box you can get the elite box you can get the regular bass fishing kit and a ton of others. Everything is 15% off using code SAVE15. Also, using code NORM10 gets your first box for as cheap as $10 as well if you're a first-time subscriber to Mystery Taco Box. Even if you just get like one subscription, it's pretty much worth it. It's a great gift. You can even get somebody like a three-month subscription, a six-month subscription. It's like the perfect fishing gift. You don't know what to get somebody who likes fishing. So now that we've seen this beautiful Christmas tree, it's actually unplanned. We just came in here and saw it. It was perfect. Time to start spending our budget. So I have everything screen recorded that we did so we know the exact number that we're allowed to spend. And we could buy rods, reels, lures. I, uh, yeah, exactly. Three ninety. I'm at seven sixty one. I have a lot of money to spend. You only have a little bit. Do you want to go first? Yeah. I'll go first. Okay. Sweet. Also, think where we're fishing today too. Chatter baits have been like our number one, but the top water bite is also insane. But it is December, so I don't know necessarily. So we're gonna have five minutes to spend our budget. Devin's gonna go first. As soon as the stopwatch is over, you can't keep spending your budget. Right, cool. But if you also go over your budget, you only get one of the items to use the whole entire time. Oh my you can't God. go over, but you also can't go under. So I hope your math skills are good and under the pressure of time. So Devin's gonna go first. You got your budget is three seventy on the dot. I'm pretty sure, right? Three ninety. Three ninety. Yes, three ninety. Three pounds if you're wrong. How much are you gonna put on it? Uh, Can I get ten more dollars? No, I, I put zero dollars on it because I just checked and it's three ninety. <laughs> Devin has three hundred and ninety dollars to spend. We're gonna go ahead and start the five minute timer in three, two, one. Here you go. Ooh. A rod and reel, obviously. Um, uh, I like the VCs. I want that Corrado, but we gotta get us freaking. I it's don't have time. Let it, so can let I do that? Yeah, yeah. Let us slide. We're gonna. We need an employee, but you chose the Corrado 200 HG. Um, I'm pretty sure that's a hundred and eighty dollar reel. Keep the math in your mind. You need a rod too. You need yeah, a rod. I need a rod, but I want the muscle rod, and that's not a muscle. Rod. No, dude, they might be all sewn out of the muscles. So you gotta think we're in Florida. There's a go-to over there. That's gonna be your. That's gonna be your best bet. You gotta think we're in Florida. Yeah, Everybody's yeah, yeah. buying the muscle. So that rods. puts me. It's a hundred dollars, right? So that puts me at two eighty. So I got like a hundred dollars left. Dude, you're only a 
minute, 15 seconds uh, in, and you've already spent $280. Um, we have line, or do I need to get line? Do I need to get everything? You, need, you have everything. Rod, reel, lines, oh lures, hooks, weights, gosh. terminal tackle, everything. I was not ready for this. And don't you overspend, or else we're putting everything great, 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 great. back. I mean, you still got three and a half minutes, right, so cool. you're, you're, you're chilling. You got, you got time to think. Breathe. Take it easy. Just keep in mind, you're probably going to backlash it, so you probably want like 300 yards of line instead of 150, <laughs> just in case you got to respool yeah, again. You know what I mean? Oh, I know. How much is that? 13 bucks. Right, that's, so that's thirty dollars. What are you talking about? Oh, you just 30? you just got this. That's thirty dollars. Right, so thirty. So You're trying to be me. sly with it. Three ten. All right. So. Halfway through. Halfway you were through. taking your merrily time, man. Yeah, well, I went so fast earlier. I don't know where the jackhammers are. I really want a jackhammer. I'm gonna run a revolver. He said it was grassy underneath. So I'm gonna go with the good old. Oh, that's my favorite color too, man. What color is this? I don't even know the name of it, but I just like the way Shattered it looks. Shattered shad. So it's Thirteen dollars. Thirteen bucks. All right, bro. You got a minute thirty left, man, and you got one lure in your basket. <laughs> I might tell you at ten seconds left where the jackhammers are, just to mess with you. Where are they at? You only have a minute left. Uh, the mondo worm, green pumpkin. Dude, I, I don't know if I were you. I put a little pep in your step. You got thirty seconds to get jackhammers and hooks and weights. Where's so. the terminal tackle in here, bro? <laughs> Dang it. Here, I got you. I got you. Just because I'm freaking out, I'm gonna get some one. You got five seconds. Uh, the tiny beast over here. <laughs> I didn't even grab, I just grabbed a jig instead of Hey, that's time, that's time, man. Uh, what a terrible play that was, if I might add myself. I should get two, but I'm only gonna get one. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna go with this 3 8 out jack camera, so shh. He makes up his rules, I can make up mine. Hey, what's up, Norm? I am ready to go. Did you show him what you got? Yeah, 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 so <laughs> obviously I got the uh, reaction rod. $100. That's a go-to. I got the go-to. I didn't look. I just said it. I can't <laughs> read, guys. Sorry. I got Bray, so 100 and the Corrado was what? You said 180 Yeah, I think those Corrados are 180 All right, so that puts me at 280 between those. The braid was 30 bucks. I think so. 210. So that puts me at 310. 310. Dang. Got Mondo worms. These were how much? 599. 599. So I got the uh, revolver. 13. That puts me at 310 plus 15 is 325 plus another 10 is 335. You know I got hooks. I didn't even see how much they were. Yeah, there's only they're like 30 bucks. But then you know I got my jig. Where'd you get that? I'm not telling you where I got that. <laughs> are we letting that slide, Zane? Is that are we letting that slide? I'm just watching, okay? I don't I, I, I know you I it. know you instigated that. Don't you even say you didn't. You know what? Fine. Let's do it. Every time. <laughs> I've, that, now I'm like on a losing streak. This is not good. Guys, no, I have five minutes, but instead of spending 390, I have seven. seven. I'm really realizing how bad our memory is. Yeah, 761. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. It's your yeah. turn. I got the timer ready. You ready to go? Why you ready, so Zane? sassy? What? Because you got $761 and I only got $390. Oh, so. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you don't know how to spend it right. I'm 100% ready. Are you ready? Dude, I'm ready. Three, two, one, go. All right, I got five minutes. Not even stressing it. So, guys, first off, we got a, a sale on Mystery Tackle Boxes. Just like if you use code norm. <laughs> and they're on sale for two for 35 So, even though I got a big budget, I'm going to save a little bit of money. Let's just do two of the motherload boxes. You Boom. feel like that's it. You can't even put anything else in there. No, it's good. It's good. It's good. Don't worry about so it. So we need rod, reel, line, lure. So Devin went first, so he took the go-to. So it's actually perfect because I need another reaction rod. So I'm going to do the same thing and get a reaction rod. It's another hundred bucks. I don't think I have to worry about my budget. I don't think I'm going to overspend. I'm here at 220 right now. You know what's right here, though? <laughs> the jackhammers didn't even actually know where they were. Yes, $20 each, and we are doing multiple. I promise you that. <laughs> I'm so happy I finally got, like, the really big budget. I've got a couple in just in case I snap one. I want the red color too, yeah. so. Yeah, I'll spend, I'll spend 60 on it. I'll spend a slide 60 real quick. What's what's my time at? I'm not telling you. You have to, I told you what time you had. 3.25. I've spent three minutes and 25 no, seconds? No, you have three minutes and 25 seconds left. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So Devin, I'm gonna do the same thing you did. There's multiple like, okay, so we have SLX DC 150 HGs, Corrado DC 150 HDs that are 250 and a Corrado 200 HD. I got the big budget, man. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get that one, but this is, uh, this is locks. We're gonna get an employee to help us later. I'm gonna get the Corrado DC 150 HG, which isn't, it's not even up here. Dude, I still only got half my time. I already spent $520. Yeah, yeah. What's really cool, guys, is I have the home court advantage. I've been to the stick sporting goods like 20 times more than Devin, and I've been to the palm we're going to today, so I know what works better. I'm gonna get some green pop and mono words, dude. Like, why are you copying me? You do got. something different. Hey, it's not my fault you went first. Two minutes left. Oh, dude, I'm definitely gonna get some of these. Some of the darts and electric. Chad, uh, what else do I want? What else do I, I don't want? know. Um, what else do I want? Your stocks oh, doing? top waters, top Kinda waters, top waters. I'll do it for the boys. You guys already know. We'll do it. We'll do it. We'll spend the 40 out of my budget to get a scale for today's video. Yeah, cracking me up. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Made somebody laugh. Let's go. Dude, I have not seen the top waters this whole time. Oh, goodness. Oh, no, now I'm actually kind of stressed. 
for your kid. Oh shoot, <laughs> oh, dude, I need top water lures like bad. <laughs> dude, where is their top water oh, section top in here? I promise no, right you. Here. I promise you, if you mess me up, dude. Forty-five seconds. Top water, stop water, stop waters. Okay, boom, boom, boom. Oh yes, blooper. Let's go. Seven ninety-nine. Thirty-five seconds. Got a blooper. Line hooks weights. Oh, line, line. This way, this way, Zade. Twenty. <laughs> oh shoot. Oh dude. Oh dude. Six, eight, ten, twelve. Two. Dude, where's? Okay. All right. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Oh no. Three. All right, I did it. <laughs> I did Does it. Does it count if you drop it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I make the rules. Remember? Are you out of breath? No. Mm -mm. I'm in shape. Basically. You all right. Sweating a little bit. No, no, no. That's just that. Uh, Norm merch keeping me hot. They knew it was coming. Warm. Warm. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so I got myself a uh, a Guggen Green Rod. A $250 Shimano something other that we're gonna go get. Uh, I got a scale for us too, which is gonna be epic because I lost mine. I don't even have to say that anymore. You guys know the deal. So I got two bloopers, which I think were $7.99. Two of the mother loads, but they were on sale. These are uh, 60 bucks each. They come with hooks and bullet weights. And you these didn't even well, need to so. stress about getting that then. Yeah, I, I know. But I didn't, even, I didn't even think about it until I looked down. I saw the mother load boxes. <laughs> like when I had looks at my hands, I was like, thank goodness. Mondo worms, darts, line. I have three of these the jackhammers. Uh, in the car, we have the, the trailers. And I'm sure in the mother load oh, boxes yeah, too, dude. there's trailers for these too. So I wasn't too worried about trailers. I think I underspend it by like probably 100 bucks. Yeah, you're 617. And I'm feeling confident. I'm feeling confident, guys. So what we're going to do is we're going to go check all this stuff out. Whoever wins in this What's the w keeps. What? everything what's the win though biggest fish most fish biggest fish so that's why we got the scale whoever catches the biggest fish wins absolutely everything and if i win i may give it all away to you guys so if stay I tuned win, we'll give it away to you guys <laughs> i was trying to make them look bad so we will see you at the pond and see who can catch the biggest fish let's just get we got to give it a time limit or else we're gonna keep going two hours biggest fish in two hours all right all right, deal. All right, we'll see you guys at the pond. All right, guys, we are here at the pond. Time to get our two hour fishing challenge started. So I brought my box. I put a ton of lures that I really wanted to use in my pockets and so did Devin. And then we also have Zade rigged up with like a weighted uh, dart that I got, the electric shad. So um, we're all gonna be fishing today just for fun. Yes, sir. But um, I'm super pumped. So you're starting with the revolver yeah, you got? I got the revolver and I got the jackhammer and some trailers. I got a Mondo worm in my pocket. Yeah. So whatever they're biting, we're gonna get on them. Ready to go. And I got the scale in my pocket and everything. So most weight, the biggest fish weight wise Wise, not lengthwise, but weight wise, wins this challenge. So, we're gonna go ahead and uh and get her started. Time starts uh right now, right now. All right, all right let's good. go. All right, guys. So, for starters, I tied on the uh, the jackhammer that I got. We also have I have more jackhammers, some other baits that I kept in this box as well. Let's see what's in the mother load box, real quick. I'm not gonna tie anything on out of this off the get go. I just want to know what's in here while I'm walking around, just in case I, I see fish doing something. Maybe there's a lure in here that could match what they're doing. So I'm in an absolute mess of this box, but here's what's inside. Dude, they actually have the Spro Rat, which is one of my favorite topwater lures of all time. Weird as it sounds. Oh, uh, we got some worms in here. That'll be perfect. Yes. Oh, we got orange like floating worms. So these actually are like topwaters. Oh, uh, what else do we have? What else do we have? Oh, a massive square bill, three to five foot, pretty good for pond fishing. A shad, topwater lure as well. Cross, there's so much stuff in here. A, uh, a bait ball, which is like a spinner bait, but worse. <laughs> I don't know, I do not like those things. A thunderhawk, that is pretty cool. And we got hooks, a little jig. Oh yes, and chatterbait trailers, perfect, let's go. All right, I'm actually gonna put these in my pocket for my chatterbait. We are gonna get moving guys and start fishing this pond. It's good to know I have the stuff in here if i see something going top water i will probably pull out that rat like you guys might think i'm crazy but that top water lure has caught me some massive fish uh, got the chatter bait for starters go ahead and get started you better get on it two hours already started oh snap I'm already at it my boy too my boy zay dangling i'm about to win this challenge i'm not even part of it <laughs> <laughs> so in this pond there is a ton of like this I think it's what they call like eel grass. It's like very lengthy grass, but it's super tough. So you can kind of pull a chatterbait through it really good. Here's an example of what it is. A lot of times these fish sit on the edge of it. It kind of goes like six foot out. So I bring my chatterbait right along the edge on the outside of it. And those big ones just push bait up on there and munch it. So I don't know. I've had luck on chatterbaits here in the past. Look at all that bait because the bait hides up in this grass. <laughs> oh man, it's going to be good. I think somebody's gonna catch a big one today, guys. It's just super sunny and hot out, which is like weird for December. So I really don't know what to expect too. And it's midday. So I don't know how the moving bait bite's gonna work. I probably should be throwing a worm, fishing on the memories of my of the chatterbaits fish I've caught here. 
Okay, make sure to edit that out. I'm super professional, as you know. Last time we were here, Yak Pack and Norm and Trey all caught some really good fish, I think right down this line right here. So I'm gonna be trying to kind of cast this little, little bank right here. Maybe, just maybe. Oh, we're really good at catching the grass behind us too while we're at it. Oh, there's a little minnow. No, no, no. Oh, oh, yes. Come on, baby. Oh, let's go. Oh, my gosh. What the heck? Oh, oh, oh. Come on, come on. Norm's not here. I'm all by myself. Please. He's fighting me good. He's fighting me good. There he is. There he is. There he is. He's trying to shake me. Nope, I'm not letting you. Flip or die, baby, let's go! <laughs> yes! Let's go, baby! Oh my gosh! I'm not even in this and I'm... Yes! Woo! Let's go! Thank you for the fight, my guy. The only thing is that I have no clue how to unhook these fish at all. Let's go. Okay. Time to release ya. Bye bye. Thank you for the fight. <gasps> Let's go. Oh my gosh. Is that a, that's a bass, no. Guys, right here, there's probably like a dead, like seven pounder just laying in the water. That is, oh, that's such a bummer. Dang, I hate to see that. I hope all the fish in here didn't die and we just didn't know about it. But I mean, that's a massive bass. It's probably seven pounds. Oh, that's so sad to see. Um, I don't know if that was like fisherman's error, like somebody hooked it and didn't uh, get it back in the water soon enough, or it's like a chemical problem with the waters in here, uh, or maybe it's run out of op oxygen or something. I really hope that's not the case, but this spot has been getting pressured a lot. There's actually like three fishermen uh, already here by the time we got here. So I'm hoping that like not all the fish have died in here. I just hate seeing big fish like just floating. Golly. Wait, do I have a fish? That's no, I got one. I got one. I got one. It might be big. Oh, I, dude, I literally thought I had grass. Oh no, okay, it's not big. It's not big. <laughs> dude, it's a crappie. It is a massive crappie. Really? Holy cow. Dude, he never even fought. I thought I got, I got wrapped up on grass. On yeah. <laughs> Guys, I just got a crappie on a chatterbait. All right, I'm going to weigh him. We won't count this just because it's not a bass and we didn't specify, but I'm just kind of curious to see how much this weighs. A 1.2 pound crappie, guys. I was so confused. He's coming in sideways, so I thought that he was like, I don't know, for some reason I thought he was like a big bass because big bass kind of move sideways, but he was just coming, his whole body was sideways in the water. That's pretty cool. I'm pretty sure a 1.2 pound crappie, guys, is actually pretty decent as well. I don't know too much about crappie fishing. I just accidentally catch him sometimes like that. You want what? Oh my gosh. Got him, got him, got him. Big, 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 big. Oh, 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 Devin, 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 he's huge. Devin, he's huge. I knew before I even saw him. Dude, Devin, that's like an eight pounder. Oh no, he's not, but <laughs> yes. Oh, I did it. Please tell me I was recording. What was that? I know, oh, man. 
I can't, he bit it once, missed it, and I was like, gosh dang it. And then I started reeling again and he grabbed it. That's seven. We got we got a scale, so that might be six and a half actually. I got a, I got a little bit excited, I'm not gonna lie. Jeez. <laughs> Just look dude. at that. He's got a tummy, man. 7.36 pounds. You're shaking. Yeah, dude, yeah, I'm not meaning to. He's just heavy. <laughs> so 7.36. A little bit more than half a pound away from a Florida trophy catch. Oh yeah. That is insane. So guys, check out this beautiful fish. <laughs> Holy cow. 7.36. I do it's possible to beat this, man. Oh, I've got yeah. multiple oh, yeah. like uh like nines and stuff out here. So I thought he was bigger than seven when he was coming up, but that is a freaking tank. Guys, we're gonna get some Instagram pictures and in the, in the merch and let her go. <laughs> Dude, what a freaking belly she has on her too. Give her a little revive. Oh, she's ready, she's ready. There she goes. Yes, dude. And Zade, you caught one too, bro? <laughs> like literally three minutes ago. Oh, oh he jumped yo. out of the water. <laughs> so you caught one on the dart. That was call me next time because oh, I don't sure. check my text while I'm fishing. All right, I take the lead with 7.36 pounds. Gonna be hard to beat, but very possible. I mean, if I just caught one, we could probably, I mean, it's, it's possible to catch another. They're in here, so I'm gonna keep fishing. My hand is cramping from holding that fish. Hand weak, but my fish game strong. All right, yeah, let's get start fishing again. <laughs> I got one. He's not big. He's little. He is chunky though. He hit it just like you said, like it felt like grass. Dude, these fish are healthy in here. Holy cow. He's pound and a half, maybe two pounds. Got like five more to beat you. Chatterbait is the move though. All right guys, we need a quick release on this fish. My first one, Zade's got like a five pounder. Norm's got a seven and point three six. No, I'm just helping the boys out with a solid two. Peace. All right, let's get back on. All right, guys, so we've done a lap around this pond. I think we've been a little bit out here a little bit more than an hour, but this lake connects to another lake under the road. So we're gonna go walk around that one. But since Devin and I are both now throwing chatterbaits, I'm actually gonna switch it up, even though I just got like a seven, whatever it was on it. I'm gonna try a worm out here, just fishing with people on the same bank. I like to try different things at the same time that way you're covering like maybe a fish will see a chatterbait but not want it but they'll eat the worm and vice versa so or actually i bought mondo worms too that's probably what i'm gonna do oh yeah they're right here in my pocket so yep we're gonna go with the mondo worms and the green pumpkin just want to give you an update so far it's going pretty good i have um a crappie and a bass zade has a bass too which blew my mind <laughs> and i saw the picture i was like that's crazy and then uh devin also has a bass so we're doing pretty good oh also dude we completely forgot to mention the reason i'm using the uh the gold rod is because Devin stepped on my green rod when we took it out of the truck, so I grabbed one of my other rods. This competition, though, is still in way. I'm leading now, but who knows? All it takes is Devin catching an eight pounder and he takes the lead. I never even saw him. Got him. Got him. There he is. I don't, he might not be that big. Oh, that's still a good one, though. Keep her down. Let's go. Yes, sir. Dude, another chunky one. Uh, not gonna beat seven, I do not think. Big words for fun, it might be a pound. Just got a cool way in them though, just to, just to have it here with us. Okay, bigger than I thought. 1.5, 1.5 pounder, I thought it was. She maybe was only a pound. So chunky and healthy out here. They have so much bait to eat that it's kind of hard to catch them because they have so much real stuff to eat that they, the artificial stuff, they kind of know what's up. Uh, and plus this spot got super pressured. We've already seen four fishermen here today. Um, we've only been here for an hour and 10 minutes now. Like literally that was my second cast on the Mondo Worm. <laughs> We're gonna let them go. That's pretty cool guys. So a lot of the shallower grass that you can't really get a chatterbait through and uh, doesn't throw the chatterbait. I can bring my worm through it and cut that fish where we would have missed it if I didn't make the switch up. So keep throwing this worm, dragging it through the grass. And there might be a big one on this uh, on this grass drop off. If I just leave my worm down there for long enough, I mean, a worm is just a, such an easy meal for a bass that uh, I hope we'll catch a big one. But four fishermen just walked down this exact bank like 30 minutes ago, so might be a little tough. We still got banger spots to go to. The spot where I caught the one for the beaver, yeah. and then um. Oh, you got one? Oh, he's got a big one. He's got a big one. <laughs> Dude, no way you beat it. No way you beat it. Oh, he's huge, dude. Good, Holy cow. Holy All right, the thing is, I got Yeezys on, so I'm going to do one of these. I'll flip him, I'll flip him, I'll flip him. Don't worry about it. Okay, I'm not going to flip him. Okay, I'm going to flip him. <laughs> oh, he's a cow. lot bigger than I thought. That's a butterball, dude. <laughs> dude, the chatterbait bite is on. Oh, my 
gosh. It just fell out, dude. Look at the hole in his mouth. Holy smokes. That's five. I think so as yeah. well. That's a freaking giant, man. He is man. huge, though, for five. Like, he is chunky. Might be five. Eh, right at five, I bet. Let's see. Bro, I saw him jumping. I was like, <laughs> yes. <"Yeah." laughs> 5.22, dude. <laughs> Wait, dudes. All right, so we have a 7.34, a 5.22. That adds up to about, I don't know what that adds up to. Five, seven, 13, 13 and a half pounds. Zade caught one that we didn't win. Like, so we'll say you so caught a four. So with three fish, we have like almost 20 pounds. <laughs> yeah, That's nuts. Come hey, on. if you guys aren't already though, subscribe to my boy dangling with Dev. I'll leave him link down below. I got you. Let's, let's get him to hit 4K subs. And also subscribe to me. We're trying to hit 500K. That'd be much appreciated. All right, boys, we're gonna get her back in the water. Five, I forgot exactly, just a five, little over here. Yeah, five, two, and then you got a seven, three. Zade's got a four and a half, right? Or five? Yeah, something four. Something like that? Yeah, four and a Dude, half. we're putting together a bag. Let's get a release on this fish. Go on, girl. Peace, dude. Let's go. <laughs> yep. Time for a... <laughs> Norm has been cued to catch a 10-pounder now. <laughs> oh, I just got bit. I just got bit, I think. Yep. Got him. Got him. Got him. Okay, he's not big. <laughs> he was in the grass. <laughs> yes, sir. That was so funny. We were just talking about, okay, time for Norm to catch a fish. It's probably the smallest one of the day, but uh, Mondo Worm is getting the job done. They are in this grass heavy more than the other grass for some reason. Dude, there's got to be a big one around these oh, ones, okay. too. There we go. That's a little one pounder. Not even worth putting on the scale, but, uh, you know, fun time. Fun times, baby. Yes, sir. This is perfect grass for the chatterbait. This is, uh, it almost looks like like a Danish, or not a Danish, what am I trying to say? A garment that you would put on your, like, food to make it look fancy. No, it literally looks like the, like those uh, noodles. I got one. Oh, he's got one. He's got one. <laughs> Dude, they are stacked right here. It was right off that tree. He's not big either. Yeah, there are a bunch of little small ones right there. Holy cow, man. Dude, another one I think is following up. There's like two separate wakes that were going on. Jeez. We're sitting here talking about garments and <laughs> pasta. You got him. Yeah, they're all the same size right there. These are all the smallest fish we've caught. That's actually really good when almost a two pounder, one and a half is the smallest fish you're catching. They're not really, really dinks. What can I say? I'm the best. So your boy ended up taking the dub, but we all kind of took dubs we today. We did, we did. So I think Devin caught like something like six bass or something like that. I think I caught four bass and a crappie. Zig caught a bass. It was pretty pretty nuts. Good two hour fishing session. But um, guys, leave a like on this video if you enjoy these types. Drop some comment ideas down below and uh, subscribe to help your boy out. And also go check out Dangling with Dev. He will be linked down below. But that's, I mean, that's pretty much it. What an epic fishing day. Make sure you guys hit that bell because we're going to be posting a ton this month. So um, I look forward to seeing you guys very soon. But until the next fishing event, Fishbone, I'm out of here.